Hey everyone, it's James. And that's me, Stephanie. And we're here with some more footage that we took at the California RV show in Pomona. And today we're taking a look at Road Trek. Yeah, they were there in force. They had quite a display, but there was really only one model that I was interested in, and that was the E-Trek. And that's, then, that's not it. <laughs> Why are we looking at this one? Um, because you're in it, and I think you're cute. Ah, you're a good husband. <laughs> anyway, um, the e track that's supposed to be, that's their propane-free model. Um, it's got lots of battery power, everything runs on electric, uh, kind of their, their tech model. There it is. And uh, I was very eager to get to it. And one of the things I liked about it right off the bat was this, uh, I don't know if you can see down there close to the ground, that little curved bump out looks kind of like a running board. Yeah. Um, that is actually where a lot of their, there we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Nice close up. Yeah. Uh, where a lot of their service entry is like for the power, water, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, now Road Track markets this as, you know, uh, an RV that you can just kind of not worry about managing your energy because it does it all for you, but I can't mm -hmm. ever take anything at face value. Yep. So there you go. Checking yeah. things out. And I was very glad they put carpet down under the Road Tracks. <laughs> that was, easy. yeah, it was nice for me. And uh, as soon as they saw me crawling under their, their van, they came on over. He's telling me here about the, uh, the eight AGM batteries and uh, the Webasto unit. But one of the things I noticed is that this is not a four season RV. And yeah, but they do have the TS Adventurous that just came out, the new model, and that is a four season RV. Right, but and we got there before that. That's the Webasto unit. That's on this model that, uh, that does the hot water and the, like the furnace type heat. Um, but that model wasn't there. It came out like the day after yeah, we were there. But not everybody like RVs in the winter like we do. Yeah. So interior. One of the things I loved here, look at the frosted glass on the cabinets. That was a nice touch. I, yeah, that is nice. Um, there's a fridge there that's, of course, bigger than what we have because we have the world's smallest fridge. Yes. <laughs> um, some more interior shots. Um, there we go. It looks really classy on the inside. I like it. Yeah, the a interior. nice For cherry a wood interior. And, and, and this is a straight up B. Yep. It's not a B plus. So, right. you know, it's very compact. Okay, and I'm checking out the screen here. I like that the doors open in the back and you can zip in that screen. Yeah, and you can see how popular this was. We barely got a minute alone. There were people there trying out <laughs> the bed. Checking out the bed. <laughs> yeah, and I did mention right behind that guy there, you can see the 2000 watt inverter. Um, and that's pretty much all we have for that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 